Golden Rules of Accounting Golden Rules of Accounting are the basis of recording all day-to-day -day financial business transaction in Journal Day Book. The Journal Day Book is maintained in chronological order, that is date-wise. The format of Journal Day Book is like this. Now the question is. Why do we need to know the golden rules of accounting? The double entry system is based on two aspects one is the debit and other is the credit. It means every business transaction always have a minimum of two accounts. Before we explain further you have to know the meaning of both aspects. Meaning of debit is adding an amount of cash or fund into the expenses or assets accounts and subtracting from the owner's equity, liabilities or income accounts. Meaning of credit is adding an amount of cash or fund into the owner's equity, liabilities or income accounts and subtracting from the expenses or assets accounts. We will explain it with an example. Suppose when Mr. A purchase of goods from Mr. B. In Mr. A's point of view, he got goods, but spend his cash. It means there are two accounts involved in this transaction. First is goods. Aunt. Second is cash. But now question is that. How do we get to know which account will be debited and credited in this transaction? The golden rules of accounting provide us with a technique or a guideline to get know the debited and credited account. To understand the technique or guideline of golden rules of accounts, first, we have to know the type of accounts because rules are applied to the transaction on the basis of the type of accounts involved in it. Type of Accounts According to the golden rules of accounting, accounts are divided into three categories. Real Account Personal Account Nominal Account Real Account Real account is related to all assets of the business enterprise. This rule is applicable on the transactions like purchase of an asset, sale of an asset, depreciation charged on an asset, and dispose of an asset. Now to apply this rule, we have to know the meaning of asset. An asset is that valuable thing or property which the business owns. And get the benefits from it in future or use it in generating income. The example of assets are Land and building Furniture Plant and machine Vehicles Cash Trademarks Copyright Etc. The list is very long, you will know all of them after completing this full tutorial. Next is personal accounts. Personal accounts is applicable to all persons. In accounting, the persons are divided into three types. One natural person 2 artificial persons 3 representative persons natural person means natural human being like owner of the business enterprises mike joy sam selena etc artificial persons mean the person created by law like microsoft amazon ibm bank account reliance industries limited etc Representative persons mean that accounts which represent the person or group of persons. Like, outstanding salary, repaid expenses, accrued income, pre-received income, etc. Nominal accounts. The accounts which are related to the expenses, income, losses and gains are included in the nominal accounts. Expenses account like salary, wages, purchases, electricity bill telephone and mobile rent, transportation charges, rent paid, etc. Incomes accounts like sales, commission received, rent on sublet building received, etc. Losses accounts like loss on sale of an asset, loss by theft, loss by fire, loss by an accident, etc. Profits or gains accounts like profit on sale of an asset, etc. After understanding types of accounts now the question arises is. What do rules say? Real account. Debit, what comes in. Credit, what goes out. Personal account. Debit, the receiver. Credit, the giver. Nominal account. Debit, all expenses and losses. Credit, 
all incomes and gains. After understanding the types of accounts and knowing about rules related to these accounts, there will be a question in your mind that how to apply this rule on any transaction. So, now we will learn it in step by step. So first we will take the example of the real account. Example number 1. Purchase furniture for 10,000. Step first. Scan and select affected accounts from the transaction. We got the first account is furniture. And second is cash. Step second. Select what type of accounts these are. Both are assets. So, the type of both accounts is the asset account. Step third. Select the rule which will be applied to these accounts. On all type of assets. Real account is applicable. Both accounts are assets account. So, on both account real account will be applicable. Step fourth. What will be the effect of this transaction on these accounts? Furniture is purchased. Payment made in cash. Step fifth. Which condition of the golden rule is applied to these accounts? Purchased means. Furniture is comes into the business. Aunt. Payment means. Cash is goes out from the business. Step sixth. Now at the end, you got the name of the debit and the credit account according to the golden rules of accounting. Debit, what comes in. Credit, what goes out. After completing this process of six step, we got names of two accounts. First is furniture account as debit account. Second is cash account as credit account. Post them into the journal day book according to the format of journal day book. Journal day book format is already introduced. The journal entry will be read as furniture account debit to cash account. Example number two. This example is related to real and personal account. Purchase furniture for 10,000 from Selena on credit. We will repeat all six steps again to know the name of debit and credit account. Step first. Scan and select affected accounts from the transaction. We got the first account is furniture. And second is Selena. Because furniture is purchased on credit. It means payment of Selena is pending, so it will become our payable. Step second. Select what type of accounts these are. Furniture is assets. So, the type of account will be assets account. Aunt. Selena is a natural person. So, the type of account will be a personal account. Step third. Select the rule which will be applied to these accounts. On all type of assets. Real account is applicable. On all type of persons. Personal account is applicable. Step fourth. What will be the effect of this transaction on these accounts? Furniture is purchased. Furniture supplied by the Selena. Step fifth. Which condition of the golden rule is applied to these accounts? Purchased means. Furniture is comes into the business. Aunt. Supplied furniture means. She is giver. Step sixth. Now at the end, you got the name of the debit and the credit account according to the golden rules of accounting. Debit, what comes in. Credit, the giver. After completing this process of six step, we got names of two accounts. First is furniture account as debit account. Second is Selena account as credit account. Now, post this transaction into the journal day book. The journal entry will be read as Furniture account debit to Selena account. Example number 3. This example is related to the real and nominal account. Salary paid to employees 5000. Step first. Scan and select affected accounts from the transaction. We got the first account is salary. And second is cash. Step second. Select what type of accounts these are. Salary is an expense account. Cash is assets account. Step third. Select the rule which will be applied to these accounts. On all type of expenses. 
Nominal account is applicable on all type of assets. Real account is applicable. Step forth. What will be the effect of this transaction on these accounts? The expense of the salary is incurred. Payment made to the employees of their monthly salary. Step fifth. Which condition of the golden rule is applied to these accounts? All expenses and losses. Aunt. Cash is goes out. Step sixth. Now at the end, you got the name of the debit and the credit account according to the golden rules of accounting. Debit, all expenses and losses. Credit, what goes out. After completing this process of six step, we got names of two accounts. First is salary account as debit account. Second is cash account as credit account. Now, post this transaction into the journal day book. The journal entry will be read as Salary account debit to cash account